How frustrating has it been sitting on the sidelines and seeing, let's name names, Anthony Joshua, three times in the last year selling out stadiums, 70, 80,000 people watching on each occasion. How frustrating has it been to you thinking, I should be a part of that? It hasn't been frustrating to be very fair. Um, I, I just got to congratulate the fellow, he's done very well. Um, I'm not, to be, say, oh, I've been envious or, or whatever, I'm not, not a jealous person, I wish everybody well and hope he makes 10 times more money than he's already got and I hope he sells a million tickets when he fights. It's not been frustrating at all. I give up my belts, it wasn't stripped off me, I voluntarily give them up because I had bigger fish to fry, which was my own health and, and well-being. And now I'm back, it's up to me now to get it all back, isn't it? I, get, I willingly give it up and I'm willingly going to get it all back again. So it hasn't been frustrating, it's been exciting, I've had many good Saturday nights watching the fella, he's an exciting fighter, and um, can't wait to get in there and prove that I am still the best, even after all this time out. And how confident are you that you can avoid, if you like, putting your foot in it, as, uh, as happened on occasion after you became champion first time around, I guess with a bit of help from the team that you're with? Point me foot in what exactly? Well, some of the things that you said which courted publicity and got publicity, which I guess, with the benefit of hindsight, you might have chosen not to have gone there. Listen, the past is in the past. We're not here to talk about the past. What happened yesterday is history. And um, let's look forward to tomorrow and, I, and today. And I think, and I think also, and I haven't been there and been on the inside, I think there's a lot of negativity. A lot of negativity in the past. That's gone. This is not, we're not negative people. We're forward thinking people. You know, we are, we're in the business of making this happen. We don't want all that negativity. You know, people don't like me, I hate this, that. That's all, that's gone. And it, I know that better than anybody. I don't know if anybody's seen the interview Tyson did on BT when he was out with the Billy Joe fight. I mean, for me, it was a brilliant interview. You got the real one. You got the real, the real uh, Tyson Fury there. It was just a great interview, and that's the way forward. The rest of it is in the past. It's now it's all about focus, moving, living in, living in the now. We're hopefully making that the future is going to be the. It's, for him is going to be great. And that's really what he's all about. And I'm absolutely confident that there is massive interest. I mean, the fact that there's so many media well, people of interest. You know, it's, the, it's, a, you know, it's a funny thing people come out, I don't mean this as a, a sort of a comparison, but you know, Muhammad Ali, when he was forced to stop fighting, um, he wasn't a popular man in the States at that time. When he came back through the starts that he made through uh, not going to Vietnam and so forth, he came back as a hero, certainly to the younger generation. I think with Tyson, I think he'd be more and I don't mean like an Ali, but I think he'd be a, he's a more popular person now. You see him, like you mentioned earlier, he goes to the fights, he gets around him. Walking down Beansgate, there was you know, a couple of thousand people yeah. behind him. So, you know, he's been there, and he, he, he said himself, he's been to rock bottom. There's nothing worse than feeling bad about yourself. There's nothing worse than you know, having a mental problem that makes you, you know, he's, he said in the past that you wonder whether you even want to be here. That's, that must be a terrible position to get yourself in. So he's fought his way back from there now, and it shows you the type of character he is. And now he's going to move on and hopefully get back, and I believe he can get back what, what um, he can do you know, in the ring when he's, when he's belts back. But he's had bigger things than boxing to worry about, and he's come through those. He's done it great. He's shown what a man he is and what strength he is. And people relate to that because it doesn't matter who you are. How much of a brave face people put on? Everybody has problems. Everybody, I don't care who they are, they all have a problem somewhere in their life and some people can't deal with them. He's dealt with it, he's, or he should say he's dealing with it. And that you've got to take your hat to him and hopefully, uh, <coughs> as I say, he'll come through and achieve his ambition to redo his titles.